locks up that run. Well, it's the matchup you've been waiting for. The winner goes to the finals to face Drini, and Joel will get the ball first. Gurley past the 20 and spins his way to the 26. Yeah, and no matter what, we're going to have a top Madden final. All members that are left in this tournament are a part of that topmadden.com click. And boy, do they got a staple. For those that don't know, these competitive Madden players, they click up like that. You sure. know what I mean? You get your lab partners. You, you kind of make a crew. It's like the equivalent of those MMA camps where they all train together. Yep. Iron sharpens iron. And Kiv, Drini, and Joel are all part of that same click. The top Madden with seven other of the most elite ballers in the country. You'll even see the NBA guys, NFL guys do that. Well, during the offseason, they'll train. They'll be on different teams. Yep. But they'll all train together. And But once the season starts, once you get on the field, it doesn't matter. It's the mano y mano. Exactly. And that's the situation you have right here. Though these guys train together, though they both represent top Madden, uh, that's all to the side right here. Like you said, mano y mano. I'm not doing you no favors. I don't want no favors from you. You're thinking about the 35 G's and a chance to be in the Madden Ultimate League. Gurley fights his way to the 30. And now here comes a third and seven for Joel. Joel in this hurry up offense. And he's going to need it. He want to get points on this open, open and possession. It's hard keeping up with Kiv. You heard Dubby. Kiv will drown you if you don't keep up scoring with him. Joel went three and out in the wild card game versus Dubby on his first possession. Interesting play. Marino. Let's go! You don't have that much time, my friend, and that's a loss of 11. Make it fourth and 18, and you got to put a toe on it. Let's go! I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Little Nirvana and Kiv, I, you know, props to the young buck. He could even know when Nirvana I asked Joel. I said, do you know who Nirvana is? Kirk Cobain. Joel had no idea. No. Oh, room. We just continue to date ourselves. I wonder if that's what Kiv has playing in the headphones right now. That song will pump you up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Kiv's listening to. I know Joel's big in the you know the DMX, kind of a little what they consider to be old school rap. For me, old school rap is like, you know, Grandmaster Flash and for them old school rap is DMX. <laughs> First down at the 42. Kim's going to go to work. Goff. Tight window, but Garcon gets to the seven. He's killing. Yeah, and look at Joel giving Kim a different look with some man coverage, cover one. That's what you're going to have to do if you're Joel. You, gotta you can't try to come with the meta ball. here. You can't come yeah. with the you're meta versus Kim. You got to mix it up. Exactly. He is too smart and too ready for all of these defense. It's almost like he can see their play art. He's just always a calling the right play and attacking the right area of the field. Wide open. It's Big a gain to the 27 yard line as golf with another strike. It's Garcon again. Look at that huge separation and he's just walking down the field. We get to see him make a bad read. He is playing some of the best Madden football we've seen in the last several years in this tournament. So impressive. Both players have used the timeout. Can't, those timeouts don't roll over. It's not like you're selling your data. Yeah, no, a lot more precious in the second half compared to the first half. Be a little looser with them here. There's been so many Madden games have been streamed on Twitch and other platforms that I had to go unlimited <laughs> on the data. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I'm watching so many games. There you go. Look at those pre play adjustments. And Kim. Golf. Second and two. There's T.Y. Hilton. Can't tap the toe. And how Spoto, we talked about, made the most pre play adjustments on defense at the line of scrimmage. Kiv makes the most pre play adjustments at the line of scrimmage on offense. So, a true Peyton man in fashion, he's directing traffic here. Yeah, and we'll continue this thread, but you know, the, the common misnomer about competitive Madden is they only want to run, uh, you know, a couple plays. 
Well, it's a couple plays with about 50 different variations. Yeah, and adjustments, and that's a great point. Uh, someone that doesn't have all the context of it, if they just spam the same play, I spam the same play. No, there's tons of adjustments that they mix into that same play. They set a foundation, and then they do a lot of different things out of that foundation. And that's been a staple in competitive match. And you for might a long see time. corner strike over and over and over, even out of the bunch. But trust me, those aren't the routes that are being run. And here's the other thing. If it's working, just keep doing it. Sure. Yeah, you, you know, you talked to the big fella, John Madden, about that. If you you know, if you're running a stretch play and you're getting 10 yards every time, you you better believe you're going to it. Coach Madden, he said it. He said, man, I, I, I'll take what they give me all day. He said he once called the same blitz. <laughs> about uh, all game long literally yeah. because they didn't want to pick up they kept leaving a, a, a bad uh, pass blocker for the running back in the backfield he said i'm just going to send ted hendricks at him all game long because they can't block him and the final are we going to have broncos steelers or broncos seahawks that's who Drini is awaiting the winner here of this one and it's between cool. joel and kiv i just want to say it's cool when you hear a guy like oh wide open missed him and what happened with Hay? Hay was wide open over the middle for a touchdown. Rare missed read from Kiv. But it's cool when you hear a guy like John Madden himself say, hey, if the defense is giving, giving it to you, you take it. So that once ran toss with Gene Upshaw all the way down the field. Why would I do anything else? Run it, it to the left side. If we had pulled Kiv aside there and said, why didn't you throw that? I think he just doesn't want to make a mistake. You know, you had a user in the area. Would have had to been quick. Yeah. That was a rare misread. You, you can get some wild animations, too, when it, you, you're, you're directly up the field. Uh-oh. And golf will slide down at the 11. And all of a sudden, it's fourth and eight. And this might be the key to beating Kiv. If you bend, don't break. And then lock up in the red zone and hold him to three. That's just as much as a victory. Yeah, good defense by Joel. Way to stay stingy in the red zone. Make him settle for three, which we haven't seen a lot of in this tournament. The no. offense has been so high powered. I think he's kicked maybe a field goal or two. He scored on almost every possession, except he did have a strip sack fumble. That's the only thing we saw. Yeah, we said 92 points in his first three games. We looked at the quarterback stats for young Kiev after each and every game. He was completing 88% of his passes Unbelievable. here in the challenge. And that's against top-level competition. Yep. You're not playing your, your random bazooka on the ladder. And a Jaye. That's, that's what they call those randoms on the ladder, bazookas. Yeah, you know, they, they talk about those bazookas online. Why don't you explain that Joe. a little more for the folks at home? No, Bazooka Joe, it's just a guy who casually plays Madden. It's not really about that Madden life, you know? But he's got power. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the, uh, there's guys that play casually in an ultimate team, but their lineups are, like, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. You they, go up against them. They got the goons. The goons and the grizzlies. And a bazooka. Yeah, on top of that, second. Oh, ten and Curly, close to the yard to gain, going to bend on the spot, and he's just shy. Look at Joel Porter, 18 years old from Washington D.C. First down and more to the 44. He's in plus territory, and we've seen him go with a little bit of tempo Shot here play. in single elimination. Shot play. Locked up. Locked up. You know, the tough thing with those pick. shot plays is you only got three guys out there in coverage. I mean, out there in, in the route, if, unless you make an adjustment. Yeah, that, that was just completely locked up. Kiv, that was a pick. none of those streaks got behind any of the defenders. You heard Kiv said that was a pick if you threw it. Uh, as Wild would say, it's a box on that play. Yeah, because, I mean, in that normally the route, you'd have four guys out, but he kept Hemingway in the block. Nobody was open downfield. Second and 21 now, trailing by a field goal. That'll get a little bit of the yardage back. They'll mark it right there on the Madden Challenge logo. Third and 16. Moreno barking out the orders. Watch the 
You oh. pick up one blitzer, but you can't pick up short. And, and that oh. was the sack on first down is what set oh. it all up. And this is exactly where Kemp wants to have Joel stop that run, force him into long passing situations. They know that's not the strong suit of his game. Come on, T.Y., get glitchy one time. Tough on defense. Kemp wants to get glitchy. But he doesn't there. angle the kick. <laughs> Could have punted it, you know, coffin corner style. And it's able to be brought out to the 26-yard line. T.Y. Hilton on the return. Now we get to sit back and watch the maestro go to work. I've just been enjoying watching young kid play off. Look at two different styles here. The running game versus the passing game. Yep. Bunch to the left. Man to man. He'll just throw this one away. You got to live to fight another down. That's so smart. I'm telling you. If you're a beginner Madden player and you're looking to start to compete, you need to be willing to throw the ball away when there's nothing there. Force the passes, causes turnovers, and turnovers lose your games. And we've seen a lot of you know, times where players have taken sacks when they could have thrown it away, even in this challenge. Second down now. Golf stands tall in the pocket and delivers a strike to Allen. That makes it third and manageable. Yeah, Kiv just kicks your butt with those crossing routes, makes your user commit to one of them, and then just throws it to the other one where, you, where you're not at. And he just does it so consistently. Man coverage on that down by Joel. Trailing only by a field goal. To get a stopper, you hold him to three here, you're still in good shape. Off, trying to convert. He threw him open, but it's dropped by Pierre Garçon. It's an interesting decision here for Kim. I think he'll go for this. Let's go. Going out high powered his offenses, but this is a big momentum play for Joel if he can get a stop. Already be in field goal range. If you're Joel, this is where you need to come up big. This is a big play, Coltrane. We got a situation here. Good coverage and good hit. There on the back end, fourth and four. On his own 33. Madden guy move. Throws it to the sideline. Okay, I'm done. Are you kidding I'm me? I'm done. Are you wow. kidding me? He's nasty. There was 87 dudes over there, and he completes the pass. Look at this. There's no room for error. I'm wondering, where is he going to throw once he missed the hook route and drove take it away? And Kiff keeps his poise. Threads the needle. Wow, what precision. <laughs> Got to give Jared Goff a raise after that one. And it's not just today, RG. This has been a whole week's worth of Kiv just making these incredible reads. He's been doing it all year. I saw him in the El Paso tournament as well until we got to that final four game versus Tweez. He was just yeah, walking up the block. field on people there as well. The, the kid knows how to pass the ball at John Madden football. You could say that for a lot of the top players as Thompson stays in bounds. Kiv did make the classic because he got an extra point block. He didn't win the Seattle Club Series because Killer Mike went absolutely crazy on fourth down on that last fourth drive. Long, similar to what you saw Joel do to Dubby. But, you know, Madden giveth, Madden taketh away. Skimbo dropped a couple interceptions, and that's how Kiv got here. Yeah, you're going to have good games. You're going to have bad games. Sometimes things aren't going to go your way. But the thing that about Madden is we consistently see these top players here at these, these events, and that's a trend that's stayed true. He'll probably take this to the two-minute warning. It's going to be third and inches at the 34. So he's outside a field goal range. And surprise, surprise, everyone's got Caleb Sturgis. <laughs> Well, that's how it is in yeah, the Yeah, absolutely. Mode. That you, makes it even. And you want it to be even. You want everyone to have... 83 kick power, right? Yeah, because you can't draft the kicker, so you want no one to have an advantage because he got a better kicker than this guy. So everyone's equal when it comes to the kickers. Good poise. Look at this poise. He's going to throw it away. I'll be honest with you. That was sort of my beef with this mode was there was a lot of RNG in it, but 
in this iteration this year in Madden 18, a lot of that has been sewn up. So a tip of the cap to yourself and the rest of the folks down in Orlando. Big first down. Picks up the fourth and inches on the sneak. And the drive will continue. Really, as a defender, there's nothing you could do there. When it, when there's when it's two inches, that sneak will pretty much pick it up. Yeah, you just need to get some beef up front. Run commit, get the Grizzlies out there, and hope they can blow it up. Oh, and it's bad picked read. off. Yeah. It's first bad read, and this might go to the house as Slay mm. tried to pause. Come on, Keenan, you got it. And all of a sudden, the tables are turned as Darius Slay. Yeah. Come on. Makes the biggest play of the tournament for Joel. And that's man-to-man -man coverage right there, Coltrane. Mixing it up on Kiff, not just giving him those zone looks. Slay, but Slay is a man guy. He's a man coverage guy, not a zone guy. Exactly, and he just didn't get the win on the cut route. Slay was all over it. Kiff threw it, and Joel Fer makes him throw his first interception in the tournament. And Joel CP's got all kinds of momentum. Just his second turnover over overall for young Kiv and with 63 seconds left to go in the half ball at the 33 here's a third and five you got to get three and set you know everything back to equal and then you can fight in the second half yeah absolutely he's right there on the verge may already be in field goal range touchdown would be sweet oh good play good play forget about the field goal he's inside the red zone and if you're Joel, you want to be careful here. Don't give Kiv a chance to get the ball back with any time because he's dangerous through the air. You know, Kiv uses that aggressive tackling through his coach's adjustment. That's something I know that he uses consistently. And what that will happen is you'll get faked out more, but in pass defense situations, your guys will come when they catch the ball and bang! Really hit them hard to try to knock the ball out. There's an example of it right there. Yeah, and they'll hit them hard in the run game, and then in the passing game, they really get aggressive at the point of the catch, help knock the ball out. I like that coach adjustment. But you do leave yourself vulnerable to more fake outs. Especially someone like Ajaye. Touchdown! Goal! Oh. He had it and he dropped it. I just went full Larry on that. It looked good. It was really close. The last second, the deep defense was able to recover. Punched the ball out of Hopkins' hands. Big third and 13 here for Joel. It's huge, Coltrane. Third and 13. Has him, though. I'll push him back to the 22. Timeout here by Kib. He has zero remaining. Looked like the seam got open for a quick second. But when you know Kim's running around lurking on defense, you know, sometimes you're hesitant to make those throws, especially in the red zone. Well, we advertised an explosive offensive game, and that typically means it's three to three. <laughs> no big deal, as long as the <laughs> game's good and exciting, and that hasn't been a problem so far in this one. Kim oh. makes a move. Now he's at the 29-yard line, 14 seconds, but he has zero timeouts. Yeah, he needs to be careful, not get greedy here, and allow a turnover that could let Joel CP get a field goal or a pick six or a sack fumble. Now, that's the biggest thing you worry about. You see a lot of guys run it here, try to get a big game, yeah, you know, I mean, break he's got a no long one. Just be careful. But uh, Kiv, Kiv's not much of a runner. He's going to go to the air. Hand off with Goff, he'll pick up a quick eight. Takes a hit with Goff right there. Remember, there's no injuries in the mud draft mode, so it's not as scary when your quarterback gets hit in that situation. You know, the key here is Kiv will get the ball to start the second half. He's trying to double dip the chip. Got some work to do. Gotta be careful, Kiv. Goff. That's time. Might as well let it go. No. Nope. Time has expired. He's just showing off. Just showing off the pocket <laughs> presence right there. That's all. That's how the half will end. It's three to three. Here at the seventh inning stretch. Here at the half. Uh, 
finally someone's been able to bottle up Young Kiv, who's been an offensive juggernaut so far here at the Madden Challenge here live from Los Angeles. And RG, maybe the Ben don't break style of Joel is maybe going to get it done. Well, you talked about it. You can't just run the meta on Kiv. Joel mixes in some cover one, man-to-man -man defense. Yep. Kiv makes... You know, a bad read, somewhat careless read. The Slay was all over it. Joel clicks on, gets the interception, and they're knotted up right here. This is anybody's ball game for a chance to make the Madden Challenge Finals. This is what it's all about. Just 10 minutes away to see who's going to face Drini in the finals tomorrow. Dave and the gang, take it away. Thank you, guys. 3-3 three, three at the half. We heard Scott say it. Not the offensive juggernauts that we thought we were going to see in this semifinal matchup. Rico, what did you see out of the first half? That turnover, Kiv was unable to capitalize the way he normally has been. Joel, that bend don't break has been giving Kiv issues, but what happened, I think, is actually Kiv was too good for his own self. When he got that one pass on the right sideline, he thought he could throw that exact same route on the other side of the field, but Joel's too good of a player. He made his adjustment, got the stop, wasn't able to capitalize fully and get seven, but he's right in this game. Yeah. Kiv's done well with his defense. That's what he feels has brought him up another level this season. He's always had that offensive mentality, but his ability to get stops worked well in the first half. He kept his game at 3-3, but he has to capitalize in the red zone. I think he'll make some adjustments. I think Joel did a really good job with his defensive game planning heading into this one. So we'll see what adjustments Kiv makes in the second half. That is where great Madden players really can branch out because they have more plays at their playbook and they get comfortable. They can finally make those uh, moves, and we'll see how it uh, – turns out. Again, similar to that W game with W's comment, look for this first drive to mm. dictate how the rest of this game goes. Yeah. If Kiv comes out, plays the game like he's supposed to, and puts seven on that board, that's going to put that pressure on Joel, and then pressure bust pipes. Hard to make adjustments when you're under the gun and you're trying to make make, make, make plays here at the, uh, the, the second half. We're going to take a look at our bracket to see what these guys are playing for, and that is a opportunity to take on Drini tomorrow night in the Madden Challenge Final we got one more half, guys, until we are through the semifinals. But right now, we're watching Kiv do battle with Joel CP. Let's check out another Madden tip with our guy Z Farls. What's up, gamers? Z Farls here to teach you how to play like a pro in Madden 18. Today, young Kiv stops by to show us how to pass. Passing is hard for new players, but everybody wants to do it. Here on this play, Young Kiv shows you how to target short throws across the middle for consistent reads. At the snap of the ball, you see the X receiver on the left side of the screen go right across the middle, and he lays down without taking the hit. After attacking the defense short, Young Kiv looks to set up his opponent and go for the deep ball. At the snap, you're going to see Russell Wilson use his mobility to break outside the pocket, and finally, Young Kiv goes deep downtown, Tyler Lockett for seven. If you can consistently attack the short middle and then look to go deep, you can join Young Kiv in the Madden Championship Series. Well, Farles, we've seen a lot of the attacking of the short middle. We haven't seen that deep all over the top as much yet from Kiv. Dave, you've played some great players on Madden America, and you know that the drag route is actually the best route in Madden because it's always open against any coverage. You just have to find the window that it's there. It's short. It's very easy to see across the middle of the field which guy's going to get open. So Kiv uses a lot of those traffic routes over the middle of the field and always has a read on every play, especially getting open late. So I really like the way he plays uh, with his passing attack. Sure. Well, if you're looking to improve your game beyond just the drag route, you should head over to youtube.com slash EA Sports and get all the tips and tricks from the Madden pros. The Madden community is going to be doing some big things coming up, including heading down to Orlando. Everybody's coming out to that That's event. right. Not just the players. There's so many great players, Dave, that are coming to the Pro Bowl. Be a part of it. That's right. And if you don't make it there, you can head up north to the Super Bowl in Minnesota. Madden will be up there, the finalists for that NFL Club Championship. Very exciting stuff. Right now, Adrian Lawrence is sidelines with Young Kiv. Yes. <laughs> so... You are now tied 3-3 with Cole, or excuse me, um, with Joel, excuse me. Yes, and it's been a very tight game. How do you plan to overcome the limitations that you've been facing so far? Well, he's been running pretty much one defense the whole half, and it's gave me some trouble in the first half, but I know what I need to go to in the second half, and I feel like if I make those adjustments, I'll be able to score, and then he's having a hard time on offense to score. So if I get that stop and sc if I score and then get that stop, I feel like I'll win the game. 
And you seem very mellow, very calm. Are you comfortable in a tight game like this? Yeah, I know exactly what I need to do. So I feel like I just want to get started and then get it over with. Back to you, Scott and RG. All right, thank you so much. Got to be careful. Don't look directly into young Kiv's eyes. It's, it's very distracting. You'll get lost. It's just a little pro tip from us over here. <laughs> get very distracted uh, with young Kiv. But right now, he's in a battle. 3-3 three, three with Joel. Yeah, and both of them are doing a really good job on defense. Joel doing a fantastic job, forcing a turnover on Kiv, not letting him slang the rock all over the field. And Kiv doing a good job not letting Joel just run the ball all over the field like he's been able to do all tournament. This is a stingy game. It's anyone's battle. It's up for grabs. Who wants it more? Well, we got 10 minutes to decide it. Kiv, as we said before, gets the ball to start the second half. He's got it on the 23 after the opening kickoff to start half number two. Let's see if he opens up the offense here, RG. Yeah, he's going to be slanging the rock. Kiv passes the ball more than any other competitor in this tournament at 63% of the time. In this tournament, it might be 80. Picks up the blitz and throws an absolute Stevie for six the other way. Wow. Oh, I'm an artist. Oh my, I'm RJ, Josh it. Norman. So bad. Talk to me, oh, Nate. 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 Adjustment was oh, flying in. Joel C. P. Falls is talking about it's hard to take away those drag routes. Joel's got Norman in a let me lurk that for six zone. One I bought the Rolls Royce wow. was least. You got to shake that off right now. You got to get back in. We've seen Kim before get these the big lot. games and things like this happen. Can't even sit and he in sort the of spot. falls off the oh, shot. That happened so quickly. Come on, man. Going back the other way for six. Wow. Golf going deep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boy, he almost threw back-to-back -back picks there, RG. That, that's what I was saying. Uh-oh, I thought Joel was going to intercept it. Kiv missed the corner out. And you got to wonder, is he tilting a little bit after that pick six? I mean, remember, he hasn't thrown an interception all tournament long. That's his second of the game. And then throws a pick six to allow the first touchdown of the game. Joel continues to play coverage. He's mixed it up. We've seen cover one. We've seen cover two. We've seen man. We've seen zone. Second and ten now. Golf. And Thompson makes a move. Make it two. Now the ball we place at the 46. Look at Kiv. He doesn't look too happy even after a big game like that. And if you're Kiv right now, Scott, you need to have the mindset. You need to have a short memory. Get back to doing what you do. It's only a seven-point ball game. You've worked too hard to be here to let a couple of interceptions throw you off your game. You got to get right back to business right now if you can. Ball at the 46, first and 10. Golf. Oh, it's locked up. Look at the pocket. Makes a ham sandwich and rolls out to the right. All day back there. Phenomenal pocket presence. At nine for 17. These are just not Kiv numbers. I, I said it before. He was completing 88% of his passes coming into this one. You, you got if you're Kiv, and maybe mix in a run every now and then too. You only got a three-down line set. Mix in some pace. There's Allen. That's the route he was looking for. Beats the man-to-man -man coverage that time. Zone's more of a pre-snap read on man. It's more of a post-snap read. You got to see if your guy gets separation on the cut. Plenty of separation right there. That time couldn't drag the feet. You know, one of the things you can see if it's man or not is the opportunity to run a guy in motion to see if that guy's manned up. You can also tell sometimes from the alignment. Yeah. This time it's going to be a sack. Vernon gets in there and makes it third and 16. Yeah, potentially taking Kiv out of field goal range, too. I, I, I would like to see Kiv mix in a little bit of run. I know that's not, you know, a big part of his game plan, but I feel he's getting a little too one-dimensional. Joel's just sitting back. 
Playing coverage, lurking around. Golf. Throws it into coverage again. And once again, it's Josh Norman. He's a flashback, and I'm having some flashbacks. Well, we looked at that top five. We said Eric Allen and Josh Norman are going to need to have big games. And boy, as Josh Norman came to ball for Joel CP, and Kim throws his third interception of the tournament, third interception of this game. Less than eight minutes from somehow having a dreamy Joel final. And it doesn't feel like you can mention one without mentioning the other. They're keeping it consistent, it looks like. Carl thought it was one person. I, I thought it was some sort of radio show on 98.6. Hey, hey, I can't give you enough credit. You called this last year. You said there's two guys yep. that aren't old enough to compete, but you bet as this thing grows, we'll see them. we got plenty of young talent. And boy, are we seeing the young talent in Drini and Joel C.P. I, I said it off the, off the kick. If Joel can beat Dovey and Kiv, you deserve to be in the final. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? It's not an easy task at all. Stretches it out to Gurley. Oh. Gurley oh. spins it back inside, and Jimmy Smith might have saved the game with the tackle. And let me tell you how good Joel's run game is, Scott. When I said he was number one, he averaged 103 rushing yards per game. The number two player in this tournament Average 71 yards a game rushing. So Joel over 30 more yards rushing than the next high, highest competitor. That's how good his rush offense has been. That was Hollywood. And the top runners in this tournament got eliminated early in Hollywood and Matt. Yeah, yeah and let's not forget, Scott, though. This is still just a one-score game. There's plenty of time left. And Kim just needs to get some momentum like he did right there. To make things awkward. Oh, there's no way Kiv's out of this. Oh. I, don't, I don't care if it's a two-score game. Yeah. With that passing attack, anything could happen. Second and 15. Oh, this is intense. Working the clock here at the 50-yard line. Ajaye bounces off two defenders and works it to the 42. Third and seven and coming. Most likely two down territory here for Joel. Time is starting to get thin, too. We're almost here at the fourth quarter. I think he puts it on the ground here again, and we we throw the fours up. On third and seven. That'll be a little risky, but it looks like you're right, Scott. Picks up the first down, and we're headed to the fourth quarter. Ronnie. More importantly right there, headed to the fourth quarter with Joel in field goal range already up a touchdown. Looking to go up two possessions against Kev. He might have to do what you said and come back from that. Talk about this dual rushing attack of Gurley and Ajaye. And he's just coming out in the Madden move, leaning back. Got those cool gray 11s on. And he's cool and under pressure here. Yeah, the youth has the fashion game on lockdown at these events. Feet heat is on point. Ooh, big hit. Right now, they're only missing one accessory, and that's that belt. You're not lying. And you heard W, the youth is yet to win a belt. But that is going to change here at the Madden Challenge. It's just a matter of who's it going to be. Second and 10, ball to 33. Got to get in field goal range here. Stretches it, and he loses two yards. That's when you got to run it inside. Yeah, just to make to ensure the field goal range. I don't disagree. This is just such a tough formation for Kip to stop. I mean, you either got to watch out the dive right there, or he's just going outside. Gets a yard. It's a 51-yarder from there. He's going to come out, look at the kick arc, see if he can make it. You see that kick arc right there? Yep. He can get it. Perfect. Perfect. Nothing to worry about. This is going to be good. And it is through, and the lead is now 10. I still don't understand how proud of you this that field goal. Yeah, we were in the end up short, too high. We were in the back wondering what is going on. 
I cannot get some. Now here something. it is. Kiv has time there. You got 407. You got all three of your timeouts. You're down 10, but you got one of the most prolific offenses in the entire tournament. This is a huge drive for him. This is the drive where he can start to get back some of the momentum, but it comes down to this, Coltrane. Biggest drive of the Look corner. Look at that. The average scoring he had in the group was 31. Today, he's only managed a field goal. It's 10% of your scoring, and even I know that. Look at that, RG. That's unbelievable. I mean, hats off to Joel's pass defense, huh? I mean, he boat raced everybody in the groups. Yeah, he was all. But he gave up a lot of points. I mean, he put up a lot of points and gave up a lot of points. So you knew Joel would score, but you didn't know Kiv would have three points here in the fourth. Thompson picks up the first down. Still moving. I've seen him take a couple of shots forced downfield. Got to wonder if that was that frustration kicking in. Oh, he's got him. Going deep. Nope. And he'll drop it. Nice job catching up. And who is it? It's Josh Norman oh. who knocks it away. There's Josh Norman flashback item. Look at the recovery speed. Gets in there. Breaks it up. Has a couple of interceptions. A touchdown. Had too much air under that one. If we had a virtual MVP of this game so far. It's definitely Josh Norman. Second and ten now. And you see Joel with both of those, Eric Allen and Norman, playing them out of position at safety. What a read. Wide open is Allen. He sends a few guys deep, and that ball was still in play. Yeah. <laughs> that was wild. Hey, he's, you're juking around. You're going to get a lot of fake outs, but it's going to leave you vulnerable to those fumbles. Kiff Lucky got out of bounds. First and 10 at the 34. Sent everyone deep and Allen was underneath, wide open. Gives to, Joel is just so good with this dollar defense, adjusting out of it. Yeah. Sends the goons this time. Throws it in the coverage. Garcon sort of turned into a defensive back there. He's got he's got Kiv out of rhythm. When you talk about we hadn't seen Kiv make bad reads all tournament long, Joel is constantly just getting him to chuck it up into these 50-50 balls that if you're Kiv, you don't want to get caught up in. Kiv at the 34 rolls out. Got him. That's a good play. And there is Michael oh, come Floyd. Come on. Come on. Let me double check my Ross here just to make sure. Yeah, the gold. Come on. Michael Floyd Stop from the, the Vikings makes this a 10 point game. Yeah, and Kev doesn't care if you're gold, if you're elite, as long as you can oh, get in on. the end zone, get me the touchdown, get me back in this game. Come on. Plenty of time with 320, all three timeouts, only down three. We got ourselves a ball game, Coltrane. Things are intense. Try to get scummy with it, but it'll just be marked at the 25-yard line. What is the possibility for Joel here is, although we have millions of Madden competitors, we could have Drini and Joel in the finals. They both went to the same high school in Washington, D.C. Yeah, Imagine I'll, that. Hey, Woodrow Wilson High School, Washington, D.C., and they weren't friends. They didn't no. even know each other played Madden, and they just happened to find out later on that, hey, two of the best Madden players in the country are here. The story is that the school set up a game between them, and Drini beat Joel in that game. Took the bragging rights for the school. Well, but now the school has plenty to brag about. Yeah, what's the odds of that? Second and nine. Still a long way to go. Young Kiv is going to have something to say about our pre-written script for the finals. Yeah, Kiv is here. Like we said, Kiv has the number one ranked run defense. Only letting up 45 yards a game on the ground. He's going to need that defense to step up here and not let Joel just continue to run the ball and milk this clock. Big third to go. Third and eight. Huge play. Low throw, can't hold on. Now here comes fourth down. What do you do, RG? Wow. You have years of competitive experience under your belt. What do you do here? 
if you're Joel, it really depends. I, I think he got a punt. Your defense has been playing so good. You know what? I, if I'm Joel, though, I'm go I'm going for this. I'm going for this. Boy, Kim is getting on here thinking. You, you don't you don't want to just punt them the ball. His offense is in rhythm. You, you really want to just punch him in the mouth. Get this first down. He's gonna go. Yeah. I don't blame him. This is how you take this momentum back from Kiff, because Kiff has all kinds of momentum right now. You can get it all, a lot of it back right here with a first down. You know the risk. Let's see if he can get the reward. All day, throws it to the sideline, and no, Kiff will take over at the 27-yard line. This is good. And this is good pocket. He's just a little oh, late on the crossing route. And this is the downside of going for it. Because Kim is already in field goal range. Worst case scenario, he can tie the ball game. Just no sacks, no turnovers. Kim with all kinds of momentum. Way to fight if you're young Kim. Well, Kim is kind of an open field passing player. Now you're in the 27-yard line, and you, you really need to use some of this clock. Set yourself up for a win. Worst case scenario, a tie. Yeah. And, and you got to at least get the tie. But I love what Kiv's doing right now on offense. Coming out in a little single back wide trips right there. Giving Joel a taste of his own medicine. And even if it's just for a play or two, don't let him get too comfortable against your bunch. Give him a different look. Give him something to think about. That's something you felt that he should have been mixing in throughout the ball game. Yeah, because it's out of that 11 personnel. So now when Joel sees that 11 personnel come up on screen when he's picking his play, he doesn't know if it's the bunch or the wide trips. This time, Kiv's back in the bunch. Second and eight. Back to what got you there. There we go. And it's there Allen at the 13. Down. Come on. So the field goal's in the bag. The chance is, can you take the lead? Yeah, we're getting down to the nitty gritty under two minutes. About a minute 40 left in this game. Look at Joel, though. He's staying composed. Focused at the task at hand. 13 yards between the chance to be in the final and the Madden Ultimate League. Golf. Here comes the heat, and he throws it to the end zone, and it's a touchdown for Young Kiv. What a read. What a fight. Way to come back. Pierre Garcon, native of Haiti, coming out and making things happen for Kiv. Look at that read. From the Kemper, huh? One stop. He knows that's all it is. But I'll be honest, if you're a Madden guy, and Joel is, this is what you want. You got the ball a minute 20, and you need one drive, one score to get the final. Looks good right before the pressure. There's that touchdown again. And you're right. This is what we call the guap drive, the money drive. This is where you get your check if you're Joel. If you can walk down, get yourself a touchdown, make this Madden Challenge Finals one step closer to the belt. Go from $20,000 made to $25,000 made. I mean, this is at the minimum a $5,000 game of Madden right here. It all comes down to this drive. Look at Kev locked in. First and 10 at the 29. Field goals on an option. Keep he in mind, needs 69 yards. Keep in mind, too, Joel only has two timeouts left. So if he wasn't able to score here, it would be a lot harder for him to get the ball back. That's the girl. It's all in. He's all in on this drive right here, Coltrane. This is it. Third and six now. This is intense. What you going to do, Joel? Clock on the move. 50 seconds to go in the semifinal. The read. Good hit. Stay in bounds. First down. Joel will use a timeout. One remaining. 46 ticks. Ball at the 41. This is world-class Madden we're seeing right here, Coltrane. Gurley on the stretch. Cuts it back inside. Has some daylight to the 41. It's ticking. The clock is ticking. Look at this. Cuts it in. Good stick work. Almost off to the races. 
Game save and tackle by Kiff's defense. And look, I'm telling you, Coltrane, he's running out of time. And he gets hit in the tackle. backfield, can't break the tackle. Last and he's got to use his final timeout. Boy, you wish you, you probably should have used it on the big gain. Yeah. Took too you, long. Lost about 30 seconds. And field goal's no good here. He needs a touchdown. Middle of the field's wide open. Ronnie Lott makes a stop. Ball at the 22. You got to hustle to the line. It's going. 14 seconds now. Make it 12. Here it goes. Marino to the end zone. Picked off for Kev. And Deion Jones will lay down. And young Kev is going to the final. Oh, my goodness. What a hard-fought battle. You got to tip your hat off to Joel. He came in. He fought hard all tournament, made a name for himself. But you got to wonder, is it young Kiv's time? At 20 years old, he's a veteran. He's put in so much work, been to so many of these live events. And for him to finally put it all together and make a championship game, this is what competitive game is all about. Your final is going to be 17 to 13. He'll bend the knee one more time. But we're going to find God, out. Damn, I'm so bad. <laughs> game, bro. Who's the I new ward of the youth? That game when I missed that read on fourth down. It'll be Trini oh. and Kim in the final. I missed a read on fourth. Great oh fours. my goodness. Great defense, what a bro. matchup that I'm is so going dumb. to be. Damn. I thought you were punting can... the first. I'm like, bro. <laughs> Disrespectful, but you played. Wow, yeah, I did. I love listening to that. I love listening to those guys. A lot of respect for him. Hats off to Joel. He made a name for himself. He showed the community what he's all about. Respectful young man. Left it all out there on the field. But it is young Kiv's time, and I couldn't be more happy for that young man. He got over the hump. He beat Skimbo, Dubby, and Joel to get to the final. Oh my goodness. What type of accomplishments is that? And he is still going. He is staying consistent. And I am just, I'm just so proud for him, Scott. I've seen how much hardship he has had on his road these last few years. And for it to all come together and finally make that championship game and accomplish that goal, it's what it's all about. Well, let's go over to Dave and the gang. Well, we're actually going to uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this game right here. That was as, as Joel was doing that final drive right there. I heard Rico just sit, mutter under his breath, "This is a classic," and it was. It really, really was. What did you see out it's of this? It's been classic. It, we talked about that first drive of the second half and how it was going to dictate exactly how the game went. Kim had a turnover, and he was able to fight back. It's very. It's it's pleasing to see the maturity in Kiv and watch how he's grown as a player. He did let that get him down. He didn't let it stop him. He persevered through it, and he's on his way to his first finals. I know he can... He, does he have something to match that belt if he wins it? <laughs> I, hate, I can't wait to see the accessories he'd get. He's going to be he'll the find only, it. only guy to get a belt downgrade by winning the championship. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, Adrian Lawrence is with the man himself on the sidelines. Adrian? Yes, I am. And I definitely think Kiv will probably have something he can wear with that belt. Now, you know, at the start of the second half, Joel is the one who kind of took it to the next level. But then you anteed up. You got it. You closed the deal. How does it feel now that you're going to the finals? It feels great. I played probably the worst I played all weekend. Definitely the worst I played all weekend. I threw three interceptions. Uh, two of them, I think, were were uh, like kind of questionable reads, and then one of them was completely my fault. Um, but I'm just glad to have won the game, win, win that game, and I fought back from down 10 in the fourth quarter with like three minutes left. It's just, it was a super intense game and uh, shout out to Joel because he played the best defense I've played in a long time. He played really well and, and I'm just super ecstatic to be in the finals. I bet you are. And is it safe to say that you were pretty worried? Uh, I was worried going like three minutes with ball and I, I threw one bad read and luckily I got a, I got a, nice break on it but uh, I ended up scoring on that drive and then I knew he was going to try to run the ball and I stopped him and then I I knew he was going to play really aggressive so I put my guy on a streak he, he left him open and then I had him and then it was just about the last stop. And you spent a lot of time in your career getting stuck at the corner final stage you're now going to your live final at a major you're going to be facing Drini what do you expect? 
Uh, I, we played. Before, we just played in this tournament, so I know how he plays. He knows how I play, so it should be a really great game. He plays good defense. He has a good running game, and I have a good passing game, and I think I'm playing the best defense I've played in a long time, so it should be a classic. All the best to you. To Dave and the gang. Thank